Good morning. Hello, how's everybody doing? It's happy Lord's Day. And I just wanted to say thank you to Jesus for everything he's He's, he is what he will be, what he'll be forever. Our help, our comfort, our strength, everything you could think of, that's Jesus today. I look tired. I'm not as tired as Marie, bless her heart. Her uh, CNA career has brought her to this point where she can help her mother and she's doing a good job. We've come to the place where prayer is very much needed in them. We had a, a few rough nights. Sandy's on oxygen having a little bit of difficulties. Um, last night was one of them. And as she um, was asking God to help her, what, what seemed like to be a long time of asking God to help her, and Marie was doing what she could and we had our, our family friend Anna came and helped her and I didn't know what to do. I have no medical training. My job when I um, when she started her treatment was to she said just be normal. Just keep me normal. Just uh I don't want to talk sickness. I don't want to talk uh, about any of my treatments or anything, so that's not been my place. And she said, I want to keep a smile on my face. I want to keep uh, present. You know, she wanted to just keep keeping on. That's what you're supposed to do. And she wanted to be a help to others, an encouragement to others who's going through cancer treatments. And and she she did that. And she's still trying to encourage others. And she's just now, we had the pastor's family over. And uh, their daughter's going through radiation treatment. And I appreciate you praying for little Rebecca. We love her. And um, she said, we're praying for Rebecca, and she put her hand up. She's praying for Rebecca, even in her state. And that's just who Sandy is, thinking about others. But as I felt so helpless last night, because my place is to, uh, oh, my place was to, to have a fun life with her, to make her life fun. And we did. We went on a lot of adventures, and when the walls started closing in, I said, come on, let's go get in the car and go get a Frosty, or let's drive through the park and watch the children, or we just, we got out of the house. We didn't let the walls close in. She's unable to get in the car any longer, and the walls are closing in, but I'm so thankful uh, for the gift of song, and um, Brother Steve came over and sang beautiful chorus, and we all sang together, and now the pastor's family came over, and we sang again, and she loves it. But last night, I didn't know what to do. So I reached over to my phone, and I put on a, put on a song. I thought, let her concentrate on something, something else besides what she was going through. And the thought, the song came to me is, I know a man who can. I couldn't do nothing to help. But I was praying to the one who could. And when we got to that second verse of I know a man who can, God came. And a tear started flowing down my eyes. And I thought, God, you're the answer. You're everything. But when we got to that second verse, things started getting still. Relief started to come. Peace started to come. And I'm thankful how God can just come and make the difference. And I, I'm just asking you today to say a special word of prayer. I don't know what to do in this situation, but to keep being me. I'm going to, I came in for church. She isn't drinking too well. She's been wanting Kool-Aid, and I've been, that's been my job, making Kool-Aid. And I'm happy to do it. I mean, that's, give me a job. I mean, I, I feel useless. So today I thought Robbie gave her a special gift a, a while back, um, herbal teas, all fruit flavors. So I went in there this morning and she usually drank coffee, but she hadn't been drinking coffee. I said, how about some wild berry fruit tea? 
And she shook her head, yes, yes, that's what she wanted. So, I made her a cup of tea, and I felt useful again. So I used a cup of tea. I thought, I'll have that too, because I'm getting a little scratchy throat. A little scratchy throat. So I thought, you know, whatever your job in life, it might not, you might not know everything, but whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. That's what the Lord tells us, right? I might not have a perfect job in all this, but I'm making Kool-Aid, and I'm making tea, and later on, I don't make Jello very well, but I thought that might soothe her throat. I'm gonna make her some Jello, some strawberry Jello. Uh, we're gonna have um, do whatever we can do, and later on, we're gonna have some more Christmas in July. It was nice the other day; all the children came in and and uh, had Christmas and. When her nurse came in, they have to ask her a series of questions when she went on hospice. They said, do you feel depressed when she got home from the hospital? And she looked around. We had that front room decorated. It's all decorated. Presents were all wrapped, all glistening presents and everything. She said, how can I be depressed? Look at this place. And my grandchildren and my great-grandchildren are coming. We're going to have Christmas. And she smiled through all that. I thought, you know what? That's my job, to bring that smile. Now, my job is to continue on. I don't know what our jobs are in life. I don't know what God may have for you to do. But I'm praying for Marie, whose job is the hardest of all right now, being there for her mom, helping her through this time. But she's doing it really good. I don't know what all our jobs will be, but I hope your job today is to pray for Sandy, pray for Marie, pray for this family. <sighs> We're going to need it, and Sandy really needs it. So later on, we're going to have more family in, and uh, she gets to see some more grandchildren, sugar babies, open gifts. And, and they got a little bit loud last night, and she woke up and smiled, you know, and, and I'm happy. I don't know what it's going to take to make a smile, but I know one thing. That's always brought joy to our hearts, these little kids. And Christmas Eve is our holiday. That's our, that's our day to shine. I mean, we shop all year. We wrap, and she's been the elf for years to fix toys and take the... We get race cars, and she put the batteries in and test them all out. So on Christmas Eve, when they open something, the batteries are in, and they're ready to go. So I was thinking how fun it was to have Christmas in July and we'll have some more fun later on but I appreciate how the Lord settles in and helps us and you get a chance stop by her Facebook wall because she's still looking at that phone every now and again send her virtual flowers send her thinking of you send her smile something to smile about okay even if it's Christmas tree because right now that's making her happy and these little sugar babies. So whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. So mine is make a tea, make a Kool-Aid. Later I'll try to make Jello. And she's got beautiful flowers. We're, we walk in that room and bless Jeremy's heart. He bought her beautiful dozens and dozens of roses. I don't even know how many, probably a couple dozens, but all different colors and beautiful. She looks over there at them. I thought, have something pretty around you and focus on something uh, heavenly today, something that will uplift your spirit and keep on pressing on. That's how we got to live. So, Merry Christmas. I know it's not July anymore, but we're carrying on, all right? We're carrying on. Thank you. I love you.